Welcome to my channel, I'm Gary Wuryawan, and today we'll be comparing the sharpness of some Micro Four Thirds telephoto lenses. Let's go! So, today we will be comparing the sharpness of some of Micro Four Thirds telephoto lenses. Last week, I made a very similar sharpness test with wide-angle lenses for Micro Four Thirds. And the result is kind of interesting. There are some surprising things going on with the test. Some of the lenses that I thought will perform poorly on the test ended up not losing at all. They did fine. And today, in the telephoto test, uh, we will see some similar kind of a pattern going on on this test. And I hope that this test will give you a new perspective perspective when it comes to sharpness and also micro four thirds lenses in general. In short, what I want to say is that you don't really have to spend a lot of money to get sharpness when it comes to micro four thirds lenses. So again, I just want to emphasize again that sharpness is not everything. It's not what makes your picture look great. There are some other important factors that I think it's more important than just sharpness when it comes to beautiful picture. Composition, lighting, moment, your ability to express emotion is more important than just sharpness. So without further ado, let's start the test and let's get right on with it. So in today's video, there will be five lenses that we will test. First is the Panasonic 14 to 140 millimeter f3.5 to f5.6 super zoom lens. This is a very convenient lens. It can go anywhere from moderate wide angle all the way to telephoto with just one single lens. I tested this lens last week uh, with the wide angle test on its wide angle focal length and today I want to test its telephoto ability. So stay tuned for that on this video. Next lens is the Panasonic 35 to 100 mm f4 to f5.6. So this is a small lightweight telephoto lens. It's kind of the underdog because this is not the professional grade lens. This is just a casual, uh, you know, enthusiast grade kind of lens. But we will see on today's test how it will perform. And the next lens is the Panasonic 35 to 100 mm f2.8 professional grade lens, weather sealed f2.8 aperture. This is a professional lens. And next lens is one of the best when it comes to micro four thirds telephoto portrait kind of lens. This is the Olympus 75 mm f1.8, one of my favorite when it comes to portrait photography. Last but not least, Olympus 45mm f1.8, this little guy right here. This is also one of my favorite. It is so small, so lightweight, and easy to carry around, but we will see how it will perform on today's test. To make it fair for all of the lenses that I will test today, I will shot everything for the test at f5.6 aperture and all similar pictures are taken using same shutter speed and same ISO just to make it fair and just to make it equal. And also at f5.6 is where the sweet spot of most of the lenses that will be tested today. Alright, so now let's continue with the test. So now let's start the test at 35 millimeter. I'm going to take a look at the pictures taken at 35 millimeter for the comparison of this test. And in my computer's monitor, definitely I can see on this first picture that the 35 100, the small one, f4 to f5.6, is sharper when compared to the larger 35 to 100 as well as the 14 to 140. Again, this is kind of a surprise for me already because 35 100 f4 to f5.6, the small one, is the least expensive compared to the other two lenses. So now let's take a look at the second picture. Second picture is kind of difficult to tell which one is sharper because this is cropped in all the way at 379%. But I can slightly see that the smaller one, 35 to 100, wins again on this round. I can see that uh, it resolves detail a little bit better compared to the other two lenses. And now let's take a look at the third picture. At the third picture, this is kind of difficult to tell because all of them look sharp in this picture. And that's really nice because all of them are really great lenses in my opinion. But this time I might go with the 35 to 100 
f2.8 instead of the f4 to f5.6 i think it is a little bit sharper the way it renders the word solar and seiko and alarm on the wristwatch there is slightly sharper on the 35100 f2.8 now let's move on with 45 millimeter and let's take a look at the first picture for the 45 millimeter test and as I am looking at my computer's monitor, I can definitely tell that the Olympus 45mm wins on this round. I think it's definitely sharper compared to the other one. Look at the way it renders the word author photograph at the bottom left and then also the word William Morrow and then also at the bottom right the uh, letter New York. I think it's much sharper on Olympus 45mm compared to the other lenses. I think number two is still the Panasonic 35-100 f4 to f5.6, the smaller one. I think it is still sharper compared to the 35-100 f2.8 and the 14140 but between the 14140 and the 35100 2.8 i think the 35100 2.8 is still slightly sharper compared to the 14 to 140 now let's move on to the second picture so on the second picture i can already tell that the Olympus 45 millimeter is still sharper than the other ones, but the other ones, they're kind of very similar compared to uh, one to another. Uh, in my opinion, I think number two place for the sharpness on this second picture is the 35 to 100 f2.8. And then third place and last place, I think is kind of draw between the 14 to 140 and the 35 100 f4 to f5.6. And yeah, this is kind of interesting because at the first picture, uh, the 35-100 f4 to f5.6 wins the second place. So now let's take a look at the third picture. At the third picture, I can definitely tell once again that Olympus 45mm f1.8 is sharper than the other lenses. You can uh, take a look at the way it renders the word solar, Seiko, and then alarm, and also at the bottom uh, part of the wristwatch there are some letters japan and then the number of the movement and then some numbers around the chapter rings and the bezel of the watch i think the olympus 45 millimeter wins definitely and then second place i really think this time it is the 35 100 f4 to f5.6 the small one again wow this is surprising because i really think that the 35100 f4 to f5.6 uh, supposed to lose uh, compared with the 35100 2.8 because the 2.8 is the professional one and the 4 to 5.6 is the uh, enthusiast beginner one so uh, this time it wins again and it's very interesting for me I really think third place is the 35-100 f2.8. It is still slightly sharper than the 14 to 140. But what I want to emphasize this time is that the 14 to 140, although it loses on uh, this last uh, few tests, I really think that it is still sharp in my opinion. It's not that it's bad, but uh, it's, it just loses to the other lenses. So now let's move on to the other focal length. Now let's take a look at 75mm. Now we have the Olympus 75mm on this test uh, with the other three lenses being the same. And right away, the Olympus 75mm, I think, wins on this round. Definitely, hands down, you can noticeably see that it is significantly sharper than the other lenses. So first place, I think it's Olympus 75mm. And then second place, I really think this time it's the 35-100 f4 to f5.6 again. Wow, this lens really surprised me. And then third place, I think it's the 35-100 f2.8. And last place is 14 to 140. But in my opinion on this picture, the 14 to 140 with the 35-100 2.8 is not really that far behind. Now let's take a look at the second picture. Now, this is slightly more difficult to tell, but still, I think the Olympus 75mm wins on this round. And second place, I really think that it's the... Uh, uh, it's difficult to tell. 
but maybe it's a 35100F2.8 looking at the way it renders the word solar on the wristwatch and also the word Seiko. I think third place and fourth place is draw between the 14 to 140 and the 35100F4F5.6. Now let's take a look at the third picture. Uh, again, definitely the Olympus 75mm is noticeably sharper than the other lenses. Now let's take a look at the other three lenses on this third picture, the way they render the word alarm, the word Japan at the bottom of the wristwatch, and also the movement number. Uh, this is slightly more difficult compared to the previous test, but I really think on this particular picture, the picture number three, I think the Panasonic 35 to 100 f4 to f5.6 is slightly sharper than the 35 f2.8 and the 14 to 140. Last place is a tie between uh, these two lenses, the 14 to 140 and 35 2.8. This is still surprising for me, considering that 35 to 100 f4 to f5.6 is not an expensive lens and it keeps winning second places all the time <laughs> that just surprises me now let's move on with the next focal length last focal length is 100 millimeter and for this test we have three lenses we have the 35 100 2.8 35 100 f4 to f5.6 and the 14 to 140 and now taking a look at the first picture yeah, this is interesting. I think this time the 35 to 100 f2.8, the professional lens, wins. I think the way it renders the word author photograph at the bottom part of the picture, as well as the name William Morrow, I think it is sharper compared to the other two. But now this is kind of interesting. 14 to 140 is actually sharper than the 35 100 f4 to f5.6, who kept winning second places on almost all of the other pictures. So now first rank is 35 2.8, second place is 14 to 140, and last place is the small 35 to 100. Now let's take a look at the second picture. Second picture, I think this is kind of interesting. It's kind of difficult to tell. By the way, I want to mention this, but I keep forgetting to mention it to you. The 35 to 100 2.8, the big professional lens, is having what they call lens breathing because when you zoom it to 100 millimeter and then you focus to something close uh, it'll kind of zoom out a little bit the pictures look a little bit smaller compared to the other 100 millimeter lenses and you can tell that the 35 to 100 2.8 on the right is slightly smaller compared to the other two uh, lenses and taking a look at this picture i think the 35 to 100 f4 to f5.6 wins at this round <laughs> this is surprising because the first picture it kind of loses i don't really know why but now it wins first place second is the f2.8 and then the last place is 14 to 140. now let's take a look at the third picture third picture it's kind of more difficult to tell i think uh the uh, 35 to 100 uh smaller one uh, wins first place on this round. I think the way it renders the word Japan, alarm, and the movement number V172 at the bottom part of the wristwatch is sharper on the small 35 to 100. And second place is definitely the 35 to 100 2.8. It is sharper compared to the 14 to 140 millimeter. So yeah, uh, those are all the tests for 100 millimeter. And now let's go to the conclusion of all the tests. So now let's come up with some conclusion for this test. First, I want to say that Prime Lens wins on this lens, both the Olympus 75mm f1.8 and the Olympus 45mm f1.8 are sharper compared to the other zoom lenses. That's not surprising at all because they are Prime Lens, they are supposed to be sharp. And when it comes to zoom lens, I think the absolute winner is the small <laughs> 35 to 100 millimeter f4 to f5.6. This is surprising because this is not an expensive pro grade lens, but it blew the 35 to 100 f2.8 out of the water and also definitely the 14 to 140. This is surprising for me. And now I'm going to start using this lens more often. <laughs> 
The 35 to 100 f2.8 is not a bad lens at all. I think it's still worth it because this is a pro grade lens. It has weather sealing and also large aperture of f2.8. So it has its place when it comes to photography and video. The 14 to 140 on this telephoto test is not winning at all, but it doesn't mean that it's a bad lens. This is a really convenient lens to use. The lack of sharpness is made up by the flexibility and versatility of this lens, being able to use both wide angle and telephoto at the same time using just one single lens is very convenient. And what I wanna say with this uh, sharpness test is that uh, expensive gear doesn't always mean sharper result. Uh, the 35 to 100 really proves that this is not an expensive lens and it wins. Although it's not always winning first place, but it's not losing at all. This is always second or maybe third place. So I'm really grateful for this lens. I really want to use it more often in the future and just enjoy something that is small, lightweight and sharp like this. And that wraps up today's video. So that is all for today's video. I hope that this test has been useful for you. Please comment down below what is your sharpest telephoto lens that you got. Also, if you have any question, comment down below and I will try my best to answer. Don't forget to support my small channel by liking this video, sharing this video, and subscribing to my channel down below. It will really help me to motivate me to keep making these videos for you. Thank you and goodbye.